Okay, now that we've gotten that first half out of the way, um, this is going to be really short because I pretty much covered everything that I was going to cover before, and it's just me yakking. So, you can also, I forgot to throw this in the first video, but uh, you can also start your uh, smaller seed things, you can also smart, <sighs> sorry, I'm tired and it's early in the morning. Uh, you can also start your smaller seeds in uh, things called Jiffy Pellet uh, refills. And uh, this entire box, it's 36 You can get these at Walmart for 250 And that is a really good deal for the small ones. Now remember, now uh, these only get to maybe about an inch and something, so that they're going to get like maybe that tall. So still, a really good deal. I like to buy a lot of these when the growing season first starts because it's a lot easier than having to whip out the growing pots and the soil. Now these are the uh, deluxe version. These are for starting bigger plants like uh, tomatoes, uh, peppers, blah, blah, blah. Now these get to about two inches. They get really big, really, really big. But the only thing is... Uh, these used to be 250 also with uh, the smaller 36s. Now these also used to be 250, but they only have 16 in them. But now uh, Walmart went ahead and upped the price to 450 a piece, which I'm never going to buy these from Walmart ever again unless the prices go back down because I'm pretty much getting screwed. <laughs> uh, you know, for 16 of these. 450 is way too much because I'm not stupid people. I know how much these cost to make. I know a person that makes them at their house. And uh, I just don't like getting screwed over, so I'm never going to be buying the big ones from Walmart ever again. Because, you know, we got caught up in the line and I got really frustrated. And I just left without looking at the receipt, and that is my bad. But I really should have returned these or just left them at the store because 450 a piece for 16 of these is horrible. And I hope there was a Walmart representative watching because uh, that's not cool. That's just screwing over your customers. Anyways, uh, this method that I showed you in part one works really well. I actually have a thing of carrots that I did this with to experiment with different uh, seeds just to see how it would do. I have not checked on them yet, but I will. And again, I will have videos uh, in the future showing you in the actual garden, showing you how they look and stuff. So I actually need to get these back inside my grow room with my other stuff because uh, I have the window open right now and it's like 30 degrees outside and it is completely freezing my room. Feels great to me. The plants hate cold weather. So. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything, you know. Do not fertilize your seedlings, and it's best to keep them under a fluorescent light. Uh, 24, if you can keep them under the fluorescent light for like 24 hours at a time, they'll really get to this in about a day or two. But make sure to always wait three or four days before uh, you want to start thinning them. If you want to just pick them out like that, you know, you can. I don't like doing that because it wastes seeds. And uh, I don't have a lot of money, so I can't be running back to the store every year. So, yeah, and I think that really is everything this time. So, sorry about the mix-up. Um, I did hear that they were coming up with, and now this is just a rumor, I did hear that they were coming up with a bigger Jiffy Pot, Jiffy Pellet, blah, blah, blah that would actually get to like four inches now that's just a rumor I don't know if that's true or not but that would be really cool if they did but knowing them they'd probably shoot the price through the roof uh, so you know if anyone knows anything about that I'm all ears you know PM me but anyway that that's it I'm just rambling on and on coffee is really an amazing thing you know that especially espresso ah oh, god it tastes horrible but the effect is amazing. Ah, love the stuff. Well, see you later.